So yet again, another trip that Queen Camilla and King Charles are taking that is turning into an absolute shit show. The first trip that was in Kenya that was awful. The second trip in Guernsey where, you know, there seems to be some threat and they had to be rushed to a hotel. And now the second day, Camilla can't put her coat on and video footage captures the king snapping on an aid in very odd footage. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are holding well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this mess. So the independent is discussing Harry and Meghan and for the fact that they are coming at their new Netflix show in regards to a specific sport that is classed as an elitist sport, which is where you are on a horse and you're playing hockey or something like this, and how this won't do well numbers wise. And immediately this is, you know, this conversation, which I find to be interesting by the independent. And the reason why I say this is because they have the audacity in their press articles to say, support journalism, you can donate here. But yet every single damn time you're discussing Harry or Meghan, you're dragging them left, right and center. Is it journalism or is it bullying? I would like to very much know. In my opinion, you lose all credibility when you fail to be or attempt to be objective or stand up for what is right. And I just think that immediately we're discussing how their Netflix project is going to fail when we ha it hasn't even aired yet. We don't know the numbers. The numbers of previous projects have done well and he just received an award. Don't see any, don't see the independent dragging William for his homelessness documentary that um, doesn't really make any sense. How is this man going to do, do up homelessness? Please, uh, please, somebody, somebody make it make sense. In this man can't, like, this man is going to do a documentary on homelessness. A billionaire is going to do a documentary on homelessness. I don't know anything more tone deaf than something like this, but the independent won't call them out. But suddenly they want everybody to perform for their journalism. It just doesn't make any sense to me, guys. Honestly, it doesn't. You can go and get your journalism degree, but what does it mean? In this day and age, what does it mean? Everybody rage baits 24 seven and it's working because I'm raging. Anyways. <laughs> Rant over. Let's get into King Charles where a video was snapped of him obviously, you know, being quite upset at one of the aides. He appears very impatient on his visit to Jersey yesterday when a royal aide failed to help the Queen in the heavy rain quickly enough. The Queen can be seen trying to put... Sorry. The, Camilla. I can't be calling her the Queen. I'm so sorry. I'm s the, uh, the, uh, there is only one Queen and that was Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. Um, Camilla can be seen trying to put her hand through a coat whilst holding a perpex. Um, perspex umbrella, sorry, before her husband attempts to help her. Then it appears to snap at an aide to help him in the bid to solve the situation by telling him to hurry up. I mean, I get it, it's heavy raining. She's struggling to put an echo whilst the umbrella, the rain's coming out of nowhere. It was raining a lot yesterday and it was annoying to see. But at the same time, you can ask somebody nicely, please help my wife, she's struggling, as opposed to nudging like, hello, like, can you not see? Like, don't do all that because I'll be like, can you not see that you're being rude? Like, one thing about me, I hate rudeness for no reason when you can when you have the opportunity to be nice you now want to be rude and i don't understand why and i'm actually going to a restaurant today um with a friend uh, and i will be a membership place actually and i will be going to complain um about what happened on saturday when you just have people with this, this like, i don't care what you say if there's a way for you to say it nicer please do i'm a customer do not play those games so i'm definitely going to pick up on that one thing about me i will find the manager and speak to them if you're being so rude to me for literally no reason like, you can just speak nicely to me we're all human i I feel like everybody's lost their niceness these days and everybody's just rude to people and everyone's got an attitude and I just don't understand why. Unless you're standing on the wrong side of the escalator on the underground, I don't understand why people need to be rude to other people. Like, I just don't get it. Now, the Royal Aids are speaking out for Kate Middleton stating that, you know, she will return to work when she feels like it and that this is what she plans to do. Again, this is what they've been echoing for the past couple of months. She looked great on that stage. She looked great returning. It did go viral, but... The Wimbledon stat figures are out and they failed to reach a new high. It was actually low ratings for Carlo, who, was, who won that you know, men's finale. It was announced 24 hours before that Kate was attending, so you would have thought that ratings would have been high. Just like Troopings, it was a small crowd, ratings went high. Just like Wimbledon announced, again, ratings went high. Kate is not the girl that people think she is. At the end of the day, she's not that popular. That is just the reality of the situation. It was a frenzy with her because we didn't know where she was, but she's not that popular. That is just a reality because if Diana was announced to come 
24 hours prior and she's been missing for five, six months, you best believe ratings were gonna be high. You best believe people are gonna be running to find out what is going on at Tribune of Colors, whether they like the royal family or not. And that did not take place in any capacity here because the ratings of Wimbledon came out and they were significantly low. So make of that what you will, but Kate clearly isn't the girl that people should think Think she is? Yes, it's gone viral, but that's based on the fact that she had health concerns and people were seeing her get back on the mend. Had none of this health stuff happened, the videos of her attending Wimbledon would not have gone viral. Make of that what you will. Do subscribe, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up. This ended up being a jumbo video um, when I was only really meant to speak about King Charles, but I wanted to get other stuff off my chest about this royal family that stresses me out on a daily basis. But if we're not here to drag them every single day, who is, guys? Who is? I'm doing a London meet and greet event uh, 29th of July on Monday evening at a beautiful restaurant in London. Comment down, no, comment down, no, no, not comment down below. The link is in the bio below and in the pinned comment. Buy your tickets, buy your tickets, buy your tickets. We can hang, meet, and talk about everything and do meet and greets and etc. It's going to be fun, free food, and, you know, drinks are included as well. Comment down below, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.